something is inside of the walls on this backrooms level, and it's not me. It's even worse. Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm going to be talking about a backrooms level that requires a trigger warning, because if you hate bugs, claustrophobia, or anything like that, then don't watch this video. Because today I'm going to be explaining backrooms level 912, which is absolutely and utterly disgustingly insane. Let's get into it, shall we? So, Backrooms level 912 has a classification of a class 3 difficulty, and it's secure, but no clipping doesn't really work here, and there's an infestation of entities, which sounds like a recipe for disaster, by the way. The level itself is a very small room, in fact, it might be one of the smallest levels in the entire Backrooms, and it's around 4 meters long, 3.5 meters wide, and 2.5 meters tall, that's it. That's the entire level, it's just a small, white box. All the walls, ceilings, roofs, and everything like that are covered with a plain white wallpaper with no decoration and no pattern. Nice. The entire room isn't completely empty of stuff, though, because some of it is equipped with furnishings, like sofas and beds and tables and that kind of thing, but all of that is also white just like the rest of the level is, which gives the entire place a really strange, monotone, monochromatic type of deal. There aren't any windows in this room either, so it feels really small and cramped, and you just feel really tight inside. And because there's no windows, the only light source is a bright white glow from the lights above. This level is starting to feel like solitary confinement, to be honest. I'm sure you're asking yourself, you know, what's dangerous about a smallish white room with nothing in it? Well, there's actually a metric ton of danger here, and the good news for you is that I'm going to go over all of the dangers so you don't have to experience them. There's a specific list of phenomena or weird things that happen here that survivors of the level have told about, and I'm going to convey those right now. Some people have observed very weird, rapid movement in the corner of their eyes. Like their peripheral vision just barely sees something dashing to their left or to their right, but when they turn over to look at what's there, there's nothing there. And as you can expect, this would be extremely scary to experience, but trust me, it does get worse. People have also reported seeing weird blackish threads swinging from behind the furniture and under the furniture as well. But when they run over to see what it is, there's nothing there. Some people have reported a door also appearing randomly in the wall and being able to see just underneath it. But when they look away and they look back, the door disappears. Speaking of the door, some people have seen a large amount of Seda moving around underneath the crack in the door. Seda is bristle-like hair on organisms, kind of like the fluff on these worms. So yeah, why can people see that underneath the door? That's terrifying. You're probably thinking that's all people have seen. But again, you'd be wrong because people have also reported hearing creatures of some kind crawling around and squelching behind the wallpaper, as well as hearing some flapping sounds from behind the walls as well. And possibly the most disturbing encounter is that people have claimed to see bulges in the wallpaper of something moving around underneath it, like some kind of creature crawling around under the white wallpaper. That is absolutely and utterly disgusting. I'm about to throw up, but it doesn't stop there because uh, now I have to go over just what type of entity lives in this wallpaper. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be a very good backrooms guide, would I? As far as we know, there's only one type of entity that calls this level home, and that entity is cockroaches. Yes, you heard that right. Cockroaches. You can't even escape them in the back rooms. They live in the space behind the wallpaper here, and there are billions of them. Billions with a B. They look and act similar to the ones from real life, so you can imagine how disgusting that would be. And the cockroaches here can actually fly, unlike most household ones from real life. Anyways, the only way to interact with the cockroaches is if somehow the wallpaper is torn or cracked or broken somehow on the walls. And if this happens, they'll flood out of the crack into the room that you're in, and they will literally just envelop the entire room and infest the entire thing. And since the room is you know, pretty bright, they'll try to find the darkest place to hide. Guess where the darkest place to hide is? Inside of your clothes. 
So they'll start to swarm you and try to fly into your sleeves and into your pants and even into your mouth if you're screaming because it's dark in all those places. Oh, that's gross. Now, these things don't actually, you know, directly harm you. It's not like they're attacking you or biting you, but they might make you panic or be uncomfortable if they're flying all over you and around you, which of course they would. And when this happens, you know, some people try to run over and find that door that was there and open it, but... Uh, that's probably the worst mistake you can make because when you do that, the bugs from behind the door will open up with the door and flood in even more because, you know, then the room's just gonna fill up completely with bugs from floor to roof. Because of this huge wave of bugs coming in the room, it makes it really hard to no-clip into surfaces. It's already hard enough as it is because no-clipping into walls with thin wallpaper is difficult, but when there's bugs coating the wallpaper, good luck getting out. You can actually only no-clip through the walls if you sprint full speed at them before the bugs get in and you know you don't let up at all just run as fast as you can into the walls because if you hesitate just slightly you'll actually glitch through the wallpaper and you'll be stuck in the area where the cockroaches are behind the wall forever you can't even move you're just stuck there being surrounded by cockroaches so yeah that's probably the worst fate in all of the back rooms Holy crap, that's terrifying. But even if you want to leave the level safely, you're going to have to no-clip like I just said. You're going to have to run as fast as you can at an empty wall before you break it. So just go for it. Or you can try to break the wallpaper and no-clip through the cockroaches to be sent to level 611, but that exit is very dangerous and hasn't worked much, so really the only one you have is to no-clip through the wall. Both of the exits are dangerous and are prone to not working either, so just good luck, I guess. To enter the level, you have to touch a white wall on level 127, so whatever you do, do not do that. Unless you want to come here and you want to get enveloped and swarmed by cockroaches in a very small room. That's gross. I mean, I, I can't get over it. So yeah, that's it for this explanation. I had a fun time reading and writing about this level. I think it was great and disgusting, and it's a good concept. I love these small levels and these weird little quirks like the cockroaches. I think it's great. It was very well done. Uh, go check out the full article below if you want to see more and support the author. Anyways, thank you for your support on the channel. As I've said the last billion videos, I am on the road to 1 million subscribers. And if you want to help me get there, share the channel with family and friends. Just watch more videos. I appreciate you all for your support. Thank you so much. The channel is literally absolutely going insane i'm very appreciative of you for that also uh, go check out my vlog channel and spoogly my third channel if you want more of me i upload on all three of the channels so you know if you want to find something different now they'll be there also i don't plug it that much but i do still have merch for sale over on my teespring store it'll be in the description below it's literally in most of my video descriptions and it's on my channel about tab so if you want some more brugly merch for the summer like a short sleeve shirt or something like that check out the link below tag me on twitter if you buy some and i want to see you repping it i'll follow you back Thank you all so much for the support on the merch so far. Uh, I do plan on doing a summer drop this year. Stay in tune for that. And uh, yeah, thank you for everything you do. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.